Hi everyone and welcome to this Walt Disney World and Disney Cruise Line haul video. I'm so excited to share with you all the lovely things I got from my trip. This was a really special trip for me. I turned 30 and we decided we were going to make it extra special by going on our very first Disney cruise. We spent just under two weeks in Walt Disney World and we spent four nights on the cruise which is way too much time to be near Disney merchandise when you have a Disney shopping problem like I do. <laughs> if you're interested in checking out the vlogs from that trip I'll make sure the playlist is linked down below and also make sure you hit that subscribe button so you will get notifications when my new videos come out. Okay, let's get straight into it. So the first thing that I have to show you is actually what I am wearing, which is this rose gold spirit jersey. Now, people have been going crazy for these things um, all of last year, all in 2018, everybody was crazy for these rose gold spirit jerseys and I was so excited to get my hands on one. Um, I'll turn around so you can see the back of it just in case you're not familiar. Hopefully this is a good shot. <laughs> so I was deciding between this one and the millennial pink one. Um, I decided to go for this one because I just really like the rose gold glitter and stuff on it and then it goes really nice with the rose gold ears. <laughs> um, my sister actually went for the millennial pink. Uh, which I also really like and I'm thinking maybe next time I'll pick that one up. <laughs> now I love these spirit jerseys because they are so so comfy. I wear them around the house because I don't like to be super warm. <laughs> I find I'm like normally really warm and if I wear like heavy jumpers which I like to wear because they're really cozy I just find I get too hot like especially when it's not really cold winter like it is right now. <laughs> I love that the spirit jerseys are really thin material but they're also really cozy. They're kind of like wearing pyjamas I think like if you have a long sleeve pyjama top I find these are really similar and then it's also that little bit of Disney in your everyday so I just love wearing them. So much so that I decided to get a second spirit jersey. Now this spirit jersey I knew months before I was going on this trip that I wanted to get and I was outside the store waiting to get it on the Disney Dreams. So that gives you a bit of a hint. So we were outside the store waiting for it to open for the very first time after the cruise had left Fort Lauderdale. So after we had the sail away party and all that sort of stuff, we were down at the store waiting for it to open because we wanted to get these spirit jerseys. When we first went in to get them, they only had larger sizes. So we picked up the larger sizes, but we came back a few days later and they actually had smaller sizes and they let us exchange them, which was really kind. So we had kept tags on because we had a feeling that they might get some more in like the next day or whatever. So we just left them in our state rooms and we kept checking in the shop and eventually they got them back. So we were able to get a smaller size because these really do size up. No, you should size down in these because they're large sizes. That's what I meant to say. So um, yeah, even though it's nice, I like to get jumpers bigger. I normally like size up in jumpers. I would stay true to size and maybe even try it on and go smaller because these, they really are big. But here we go. This one says Disney Cruise Line. Oh, <laughs> I'm still like a little bit, I'm still a little bit in like disbelief that I've been on a Disney cruise. And still to me, it's like such a dream. That, that whole like, those whole four nights just feel like such a dream. It was such an amazing experience. But here we go, this is my little bit, little bit of Disney Cruise to wear around the house so that I can remember that it really did happen. Um, so I love this, I love like the nautical stripes, I love that the, this has like the Disney Cruise Line sort of logo thing, oh. This is just amazing. It's terrible that it's white because I am just horrific. I spill things all the time, but I've managed to keep this pretty pristine, which I'm very proud of. It shows you how much I like it because that really, it's really hard for me to keep things like this pristine. I'll just show the back again because isn't it just amazing? There we go, I love it. Sticking with the Disney Cruise Line theme, we went to Castaway K and, or Key, Castaway Key, which do you say? Castaway Key, Castaway K, like, the ongoing debate. I think we say Castaway Key, but I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what the right one is. Um, it's kind of spelled like Castaway K though, isn't it? Oh, I just don't know. <laughs> so I got this because it is super, super, super soft. Um, and it's really pretty. I love this color. I love that it's got like, you can see like little Mickey. <laughs> Look, how cute is that? And it's just a really nice color. It's kind of summery, but it's also really light. It's super, super light and it's super soft. And it's perfect for evenings in Orlando um, during the summer because it's too hot 
to wear like jeans or anything like that but I like I feel more comfortable when I've got like longer sleeves and stuff on so this is perfect because it's so so thin that you can wear it in the evening and not be too hot um in the summertime it says little castaway k up there and then it has that cruise line logo that we saw on the sphere jersey and um, this was 30 30 30 my irish accent's coming out <laughs> so yes it was 32.95 um for this top which is actually pretty decent i think for a disney top and um, i forgot to mention how much the spirit jerseys were but i think they were like i think the spirit jerseys run about 60 dollars. i'm actually not too sure i apologize um i think most i think you could most people know how much the spirit jerseys are because everybody's buying them and um, but we also had annual pass discount which we couldn't use on the cruise but we could use in walt disney world so that was helpful <laughs> the next item that i bought sort of completes a bit of a set that i've got but um this is a mickey bottle opener so you see the bottle opener there and then it's got the mickey head on top this is super heavy <laughs> but i've got the um like corkscrew version of this and then i've also got like a whisk that has this as a handle so it just goes with a few of the things that i've bought already for the kitchen but i really like it um it's super super heavy i was actually worried that they may like treat this as some sort of weapon or something but i'm pretty sure i brought this in my carry-on because it was too heavy to put in my check-in and there, it wasn't a problem <laughs> i think this was like 12 dollars the next thing that I purchased I am absolutely in love with but I have been told that it may be more difficult than I thought so <laughs> it is this really cute Walt Disney World sign and I don't know what they call these things pop out pieces what do they metal earth so basically it's metal you made i've seen them mostly for like star wars characters and stuff so you see this is this is what you end up with i'll see if it's just, so you can see it, it is just the the welcome sign and then when you look at the packet you can see like some of the the metal pieces but basically you build the welcome sign with the metal pieces and i think you have to like get like tweezers or pliers and stuff and like bend all the little bits and stick them all together but I did see one built in the shop and it looked amazing and I thought this would be really cool for like having in the background like if I'm doing Disney vlogs and stuff I've been working on a bit of a Disney shelf so I figured it might go there but I just thought it was really cute and it's only I think it was $20 there's no price on it for some reason but I'm pretty sure it was $20 like $19.99 or something and yeah, I'm gonna have to have a go building this soon. Um, but I just think it's really cute. It just looks so nice. And the welcome sign is like infamous. This is proper icon when you go to Walt Disney World. When you see that welcome sign, that's when your heart like just fills with happiness. <laughs> The next item that I got was actually free but required a couple of visits to Epcot with my annual pass. And it is this pass holder chopping board. Isn't it adorable? I love it. Now it is quite small, as you can see but it's really cute because I have like a proper large chopping board this is like more of a little cute chopping board you could maybe put like some cheese on there <laughs> a little Mickey cheese board I love it I think it's so adorable and I was so excited to get this I think we had to go to Epcot four times I feel like it was four times um and when we went for the very first time I got I got this Mickey magnet so i've heard like stories of these things going missing from cars now i don't have a car anymore since i moved to london so um i'm probably going to put it on like a fridge or a radiator or something but do be careful if you do have one of these on your cars especially in orlando if you're like parking in the parks and stuff i've heard these things can go walking okay the next item requires some unwrapping which if i was prepared i probably would have done in advance I love this so much and I haven't used it obviously because it's in the wrapping but I've been so excited to use it and I've been waiting until I do my haul but already I'm just super excited look at this it's so simple but I just love it so this is obviously from the Disney dream and it is just a plain navy mug but it's got the ship and it's got this lovely Mickey here oh I love it now this was 16.99 which i actually thought was quite decent for a mug and it's just it feels like really sturdy oh and it also says disney cruise line on the inside there 
but I just love this. I don't know what it is about it. I'm obsessed with this mug. I've been home like in Ireland and Rachel got one as well. So I have seen it like in use. I've seen it in action. <laughs> Um, and I just, yeah, I'm mad about it. I love it. I also picked up a couple of discounted items in the outlets. I got these really cute um, set of four washcloths. Now I have actually purchased um, these in a different color full price before. Um, so these were $14.99 full price and they were $4.99 in the outlets. Like it really pays to go to the outlets to see what they have. But yeah, look, I'll just take one out. You can see like all the little Mickeys. And this is like perfect for um, if you use face cloths as part of like your makeup routine and stuff because they're nice and dark. So, you know, you're not gonna see all the all the stains. I mean, obviously you wash them, but you know what I mean? Like if, if you're using like a lighter color, literally one use and it just looks terrible. I got um, another cruise line top in the outlets. So it has, yeah, it has this like cool, ship wheel there's a better word for that isn't there ship wheel it's not called a ship wheel i keep thinking anchor it's clearly not the anchor that's what goes in the ocean i'm sure there's a better word i'm sure it's not just called a wheel <laughs> anyway um and it has like just disney cruise line on the inside there again that beautiful logo i think this is like a huge size extra large it's massive, but like it's perfect for just lounging about. And again, it's really thin material, which you know I like. It's got these like quite cool sort of, I don't know what you call them, little stripy things on the sleeve. And this was $39.99 reduced to $11.99. That is a bargain. This next item I sort of went back and forth on a lot um, over the trip and I wasn't sure if I was gonna get one and then eventually I decided to. So I got myself a Dooney and Burke, not a bag, but a magic band. This is the first magic band I've ever bought. Um, now, if you look at the case, you can sort of see the kind of design that's on it. I think these Dooney and Burke magic bands are gorgeous. Now, I didn't even use this on my trip because I got it like towards the end of the trip and I just like, it was just like too perfect in this little box and I just, oh. So I'll show you a sort of close up of the magic band. Look, it has a little Dooney and Burke band. It's got like Mickey around here. It's got, um like lots of different things from the different rides. So you've got like Haunted Mansion here, teacups, you've got Tiki Birds, then you've got Mickey there. Oh, it's just so cool. Oh, it was Minnie on this side. Huh. Sorry, Minnie. <laughs> I really like to have new things for trips. So I like the fact that I've taken this home, I've not used it, and then I'm gonna save it as like a new thing for my next trip to Disney World. So next time I go, I'm gonna whip this out, I'm gonna wear it like on the first day when we arrive. And it's just, it's kind of like something extra to make it a little extra special. Not that you need to make going to Disney World extra special, but I don't know, I just really like things like that. And then every time I look at it, I think, oh, like next time I go, I'm gonna get to wear that, so exciting. <laughs> Another item that I got in the outlets were these Christmas cards. Now, <laughs> because I was being such a good Disney haul doer, <laughs> a Disney haul doer? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> because it took me so long to do my Disney haul, I had intended to give these out at Christmas. Um, but it's a bit late for that now. <laughs> so I'm gonna hold on to these for next year. But these were $19.99 reduced to $7.99. And if you see on the back, there's just some really awesome different patterns on the cards. I just think these are great. So I'm gonna hold on to them for next year and then I can give them out. <laughs> um, one final thing from Castaway K is this really cute magnet. So it just says Castaway K, it has like a Mickey in it. Okay, so the last item that I got was actually something, again, that I did not pay for. And um, this came in a drink, actually, when we were in the Nomad Lounge. And I love it. It looks so cute in a drink. So, um, yeah, I just made sure I took that home. It has a little button to, like, change the light settings. I'm pretty sure this one just does... Oh, I was just going to say, I think it just does on and off in the same colour. But now it's changing colours. Okay, so it is just on and off, but it does different colours when it's on. There you go. I think it just, like, slowly changes colours. Does anyone else have like quite a few Disney um, ice cube things like that around? I do. 
two. <laughs> I've got loads of like the just regular square ones. Okay, so that is it for this Walt Disney World and Disney Cruise Line haul video. I very much hope you have enjoyed. If you did, please give it a thumbs up below. And again, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you wanna see some more haul videos and you wanna see my vlogs from that trip. The playlist is also linked down below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you real soon. Bye.